Hello friends, my name is Dr. Jagdish Shinde and my today's video I am going to tell you about what is palliative radiotherapy. Friends, lot of times we face a condition when cancer patient gets diagnosed in very advanced stage or a metastatic stage. In that case, the disease has already spread from its origin to a distant site just like bone or uh, brain or spinal cord some other organs and in that cases the intention of treatment is not cure and in that cases our intention of treatment is palliation the word palliation means to decrease the symptoms so uh, in uh, palliative radiotherapy we try to decrease the symptoms of the patient so i will just explain what are the indications of palliative radiation and uh, in which situations we can use palliative radiation as a treatment modality in cancer friends whenever the uh, disease has spread uh, in the body like if there is a metastasis of cancer in the bone or, or metastasis spinal cord there is a, if there is a cord compression or if there is a brain metastasis or if there is a tumor which is compressing the surrounding organs causing the pressure effects if there is a tumor which is causing ulceration or bleeding and if there is any patient any tumor which is causing pain to the patient in that cases we can give palliative radiation to cancer patient just uh, one by one i will tell you uh, we, in which conditions palliative radiation therapy can help cancer patients the number one and most common uh, indication is the bone metastasis many times we face condition in which a uh, patient has a uh, disease which is spread to a bone and when disease spreads to a bone there is a risk of a fracture of a bone and also there is a risk of of pain if there is a disease in a bone then patient might have a of pain so to decrease the pain and to prevent fracture we can give palliative radiation therapy uh, to bone uh, the second indication is that if there is a metastasis in the spinal cord then there is a possibility of fracture of the spine the second indication is the cord compression if there is a metastasis of the cancer in the spine then there is a possibility of fracture of the spine leading to the compression of the spinal cord if such condition arises then we need to give a radiation in the urgent basis because if there is a compression of the spinal cord patient might have a paralysis of his limbs to prevent paralysis of his limbs we need to give radiation in urgent basis generally we try to give radiation within 48 hours of symptoms of paraplegia so we try to give as a radiation as early as possible the third indication is brain metastasis if there is a, a metastasis of tumor inside the brain then we give palliative radiation therapy to the brain the benefit of giving palliative radiation therapy to the brain is that when there is metastasis of the tumor in the brain it might cause pressure effects on the normal brain tissue leading to symptoms like headache vomiting and decrease sensorium of the patient to prevent these side effects we can give palliative radiation therapy to the brain also by giving radiation therapy to the brain we can decrease the edema associated with the tumor we can also decrease the chances of intracranial bleeding by giving radiation uh, to the tumor the tumors inside the brain are fragile and they have tendency to bleed inside the brain if the bleeding occurs patient might have multiple symptoms like convulsions the paraplegia or neurological def deficit of the uh, patient then uh, patient might have headache and uh, even in worst cases patient might die due to the intracranial bleed so uh, to prevent these uh, effects we have to give radiation on urgent basis if the patient have brain metastasis so the next thing is that we can give uh, radiation if the if there is a tumor which is compressing the normal structures or which is causing mass effect so for example if there is a tumor in the mediastinum uh, which is causing the compression of the uh, great vessels of the heart and it can cause a syndrome called as a superior vena cava syndrome in that cases also we can give palliative radiation therapy to the chest and decrease the symptoms of the patient also if there is any tumor on the surface of the body and it is causing the bleeding or any tumor which is bleeding anywhere in the body we can give radiation therapy to prevent bleeding of the tumor 
in that cases it is called as hemostatic radiation it is also kind of a palliative radiation by giving radiation we can stop bleeding of the patient so these are the different conditions in which we can give radiation therapy palliative radiation therapy to the patient so uh, now we understand uh, the indications of the palliative radiation now i will tell you how palliative radiation therapy is given what is the dose so there are different uh, dose regimens which can be given for palliative radiation the most commonly used regimen for palliative radiation is the 30 gray in 10 fractions so dose of 30 gray is given uh, in 10 uh, fractions of radiation over 2 weeks so the treatment will last for 2 weeks generally treatment will be given from monday to friday uh, and saturday sunday will be off uh, and 2 weeks treatment will be completed the another regimens which are used in palliative are 40 gray in 15, 16 fractions 20 gray in 5 fractions 8 gray in single fraction so the choice of the regimen is dependent on the uh, oncologist who is treating the what is the site of disease stage of disease and volume of the disease so these things has to be considered while giving radiation so this is all regarding palliative radiation if you have any doubt regarding radiation therapy then you can consult me online i will give a link for uh, online consultation in the description you can consult me in my opd also in the pune i will give my address in the description thank you very much